Let's take a look at our first problem type. Uh, find You need to be able to find a limit using direct substitution. So, my first example, I have a limit as x goes to negative 2 of x squared plus 3x minus 1 over x minus 2. Well, with direct substitution, you just plug in the x, or the plug in the number here for your x. So we're going to have negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 minus 1 over negative 2 minus 2. <coughs> well, negative 2 squared is 4. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 minus 1. Negative 2, negative 2 is negative 4. 4 minus 6 gives us negative 2, and negative 1 gives us negative 3. And negative 3 over negative 4, the negatives cancel, and we got 3 fourths. Uh, let's take a look at another example of direct substitution. This one says the limit as x approaches negative 1. <coughs> Excuse me. x squared minus 5x over x plus 4. And again, with direct substitution, you just take that number and plug it in for your x. So we're going to have negative 1 squared minus 5 times negative 1 over negative 1 plus 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 5 times negative 1 gives us a positive 5. And negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So 1 plus 5 is 6. So we've got 6 over 3, which gives us 2. And that's the last one of direct substitution.